Hello my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to everyone, subscribers, new visitors alike. I hope everyone's doing well today. We're going to do a love relationship reading for you and the contest to win a free reading with me, um, a phone reading, all the information is below in the description box as well as my professional credentials. Look at that, imagine Scorpio, look at you. You are working on your manifestation by doing nice visualizations. No place like home. Oh, well you're enjoying probably being uh, sequestered at home, but this also indicates that you really want a partner who feels like your home. All right, yin energy, very powerful feminine energy, energy that attracts what it wants as opposed to going out and finding it. All right, so let's look and see what's going on, Scorpio, in your love relationship. What is the mutual energy between you and your person, Scorpio, right now? Knight of Swords energy was in the recent past. It looks like you may have recently had a talk or you've recently decided that the two of you need to speak your truth. This is Gemini energy. If you look at this person, they are rushing in. They are rushing in. So you may have just had a truth. Page of Swords also indicates that your person of interest and you keep up with each other. You sort of look at each other's pictures and you check out social media. You know, this is, you want to learn more about each other. That's the point of the Page of Swords. I call it the I Spy Gemini card. This is a Gemini card also, Knight of Swords. So a lot of Gemini energy. We do have Venus going into retrograde. It is currently in Gemini, so it is impacting love a great deal. And the readings have been very long, more complicated this week. Okay, Queen of Swords energy is how your person sees both of you moving forward in the relationship. It indicates that that's Libra energy. If the relationship is not balanced, it's not going to be for you. All right, let's see what they think of you, how they view you. Ooh, as a perfect marriage partner, legacy marriage partner, they feel as though you are their, their person that they can really build a legacy with. This is till death do us part. We're going to work together. We're going to create beautiful abundance. They see you as a beautifully abundant person. Look at all the people here. We have grandchildren, children, dogs, cats, you know, everybody, grandma, grandpa <laughs> are in the reading somewhere in that picture. All right. How they feel about you in their heart space. We get the tower card. Whoa. Well, we're going to clarify that because the tower card just means it's a surprise. The justice card also is Libra energy. They find you very balanced. So there was something about you that they learned in terms of who, how you appear versus how you really are. But you came as a huge shock to them, but a good one. Look at how happy this person is. Justice card, Lady Justice. Looking at the dark side, looking at the light side, and very content. All right. Look at this, how they see the two of you moving forward. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Again, a legacy building card. All right. The Magician card is the hidden energy between the two of you. Beautiful Gemini energy. Again, now you could be dealing with a Gemini, but you could also be just expressing those parts of your personality. Sometimes it's a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you know, any combination of uh, energies. Look at this. The Tarot is advising you this week to take the leap of faith. Go ahead, jump in. And the Wheel of Fortune says timing is right. So this can be a new relationship and it may be somebody you even met online and you haven't moved forward yet. Look at this, this fell out with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, this has a potential. This has, I, okay, this is like amazing. This is amazing. You are busy manifesting. You manifested each other. So now we're going to go ahead and look at the clarifiers because they always tell the story in more depth. All right. So this looks like a beautiful new beginning. It looks as though the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. Hop on, hop off. The bus in Paris, Chicago, you know those hop on, hop off buses. Well, that is what the Wheel of Fortune is. Another one will come along, but maybe not necessarily quickly. 
All right, look at this happiness. Arms wrapped around each other, children dancing off to the side. Beautiful energy, why is this? Seven of Swords, okay. So your big concern or the thing that you want to speak about is um, tricky activity, you know, somebody who's going to hurt you, who's going to be all for themselves, who's going to rush in and uh, not be honest with you. Queen of Cups energy is coming in here. That's Cancerian energy. You're not having it. That is just the way it is for you, Scorpio. You're going to make clear to whatever person you meet, this is what you want. If they're not on the same page with you, they can just go off and do whatever they want to do. Five of Wands, you're not going to put up with because of the Queen of Swords uh, your person understands that you're not going to put up with any competition um, also two six of Pentacles you do expect equal give and take that's what they expect also and the Hierophant card you absolutely would like to be married again and if they wouldn't consider marriage your, your truth and their truth too this is mutual energy you have both really clarified your goals about this relationship I would say you're very much on the same page and look at that the Sun card happiest card in the deck sunflowers all over what you're learning about each other is that you're very abundant, that you have many options in life. Life has been good to you, but you've also earned that good life. You've worked hard to get it. Um, this is a card also that shows currently you might not be uh, at a high level of contact with each other. It does look like you could be, I would say you could be at a distance, but I think to me it's more the development of the relationship. This looks like for most a new relationship. Death and rebirth says that both of you have gone through uh, a difficult time that Scorpio you are here in your reading and we love the Phoenix when they rise from the ashes that is who you are it speaks volumes to your resiliency to your inner beauty to your strength to your power look at that three of wands you want your ships to come in and you are tracking this person to see basically if their words match their actions online what messaging do they have going on the example for this would be if this person's talking to you and they wouldn't let you be on their Facebook page yet they intend to date you and possibly marry you you would know that that was you know questionable you would know that if you did have access to their Facebook page it might even say something really crazy like oh it's complicated meaning that they are not who they seem to be which is you know this first card here you are on the lookout for that crazy energy you don't want it all right the Empress card look at that the Queen of Swords Libra energy wants to be the Empress that's who you are in your spirit world and who you are in your soul it is you manifesting the love that you want you're very loving you expect it and want it in return and your person knows that swiftness they want to come in quickly your person wants to come in quickly a lot of passion Ooh, the king of wands we always love kings we always love kings when we see queens and empresses the fool card Ooh, this is a new beginning they want to take that leap of faith and tarot is saying take the leap of faith beautiful oh Scorpio Wow I have not seen a reading like this for you for a little while so this is very exciting for me as your reader all right the ten of swords energy yep you the ten of Pentacles somebody has betrayed you in the past um, it looks as though your person knows that and they know that you want happiness that you haven't lost faith in the institution of marriage and commitment but by the same token you know they do see that you've been wounded and that's part of what you shared with them and happiness is what they seek with you um, and they all but they do worry that if they they do worry that you might be quick to judge them okay because you're so still caught they don't think that you fully healed okay even though you pulled the swords out even though you've transformed the person who views you as this thinks that you perhaps talk about the old relationship too much okay the nine of cups eat drink be merry wish fulfillment says that you have many good friends they like that about you but the five of swords says that they wonder if any of those friends are friends with benefits okay 
So that is something that while you're worried about player energy, so are they. And um, they have some questions, okay? Strength card, Leo energy. Leo energy, so you may be dealing with a Leo rising, sun, moon, or Venus. Um, it also indicates that there's tremendous strength in the relationship. You have the ability to be very happy in this relationship. Basically, all the ingredients for a beautiful cake is here. The question is, now will you bake it? The Tower card, King of Cups coming in. That is a Scorpio King. That is a King who loves unconditionally, loves forever. Uh, that is a king who has their wits about them. They know how they feel. They have great depth. They have great passion. And so why is a tower card here? Six of swords. They've moved on recently from a relationship. See, they've left this tower card behind. They left, they're riding their horse in this direction towards you. They're riding away from a tower, a sudden breakup that came out of the blue, and they want balance, and that is also the card that indicates legal paperwork. So when we look at relationships, legal paperwork is things like lease agreements, rental agreements, buying houses together if you're more serious, and it, it could be a prenuptial agreement, it can be a marriage license. It's typically the marriage or the legal paperwork. So the tower card also indicates that they may be in a legal situation right now um, that doesn't have much to do with you and they're working through the details of that. It does impact you, but what I love about this is they see you as a person with whom they can build this beautiful relationship. There probably would be a prenup, um, but that really would be okay. Both of you have the six of coins here as we saw. You know, you have, you really want equal give and take. So that's okay. Ace of Wands, a new beginning. That's how your person sees the situation. Once again, coming in with passion, coming in with big ideas, the Princess of Swords, the truth, the whole truth. Nothing but the truth is going on. Um, and look at this, Ten of Pentacles. That's your future. So though mo both of you may have been married, you know, in a very, you know, ha you might have had a legacy marriage, both of you look like you have gone through a lot of changes. It looks like you're both single again. And now look at this, this, I love this. Here you are, you're this person, you're, you're bookending. You are absolutely bookending. This person wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. You want the Ten of Pentacles uh, with them. If it works out, if everything is as it appears, but you are always going to take a critical eye to any relationship you have because of past hurts. Why is a Magician card here for you, Scorpio? Why is a Magician card here? Four of Pentacles, you are holding on to what you want to manifest. You are not giving up on your dreams. Good for you. Five of Cups says that you have been hurt, that right now you feel as though maybe your person, you're having questions. Both of you are questioning the emotional investment in the current, in this relationship. So why is the Five of Cups here? Why are you both questioning this investment that you're making? Eight of Cups, well, it can, you're wondering if this person will walk away from you, of course. And it, King of Swords says that you'll be very discriminating. You're going to use your logic, as is the Queen of Swords. You're both, my gosh, bookending once again. All right, very important energy. Why is why have you manifested each other with all this fear? Seven of Wands, you're going to stand your ground. That's Phoenix rising from the ashes. Okay, standing your ground, you know, it's it's very much the Seven of Wands energy is fire sign energy. Eight of Pentacles. Yep, if you don't have something, again, this is about manifesting what you want. And if you if you feel as though you bring something karmic in, which is that energy that's sort of running through the course for both of you, you it's over. It's just over. You'll start again. You don't care if it takes 20 times to bake this cake properly. You'll throw out the ingredients if you feel like things are tainted at any time. Beautiful healing. Look at that Ten of Cups. There you go. What Whoa, 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 Ten of Cups. That is what you're manifesting. That is a hidden energy. That is the energy that exists, and that is your outcome. Wow, Scorpio, by far, hands down, my friends. You have the best reading so far. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Nine of Wands, you're willing to do the work. You're willing to battle through anything. You're willing to be reasonable, negotiate. The Temperance card is about being 
participation. It's about blending. It's the alchemist blending energy successfully. Queen of Wands, you're fiery, you're passionate, you're probably a great business person. Six of Cups, Soulmate card. And the Emperor card, beautiful Emperor energy. We have the Empress up here mirroring each other again, okay? So the Hanged Man says that this could take some time. You may be in a situation where you can't see one another as much as you'd like. Why is a Hanged Man here for our beautiful Scorpio friends? Ace of Cups. Okay, well that actually says that though this person has your heart, you're still looking at things from a different perspective and it shows me that you're holding back right now you're not you feel some love here but you're not going to just blurt it out it's okay it's okay why is this beautiful wheel of fortune card rolling around in your favor the hermit card you've been alone too much all right wheel of fortune comes along and says you're going to go from being alone to being in a beautiful relationship the Prince of Wands, a player energy is not, not going to happen in this instance. Players need not apply, right? Drivers, uh, let's see, looking for drive. What is that, that one ad? Drivers wanted. Players need not apply. All right. Why is this Imagine card here for a beautiful Scorpio? It's nine of Pentacles. You have created abundance on your own. You want one more Pentacle for this Ten of Pentacles, and you have it twice. You are about to have this beautiful no place like home. There's no place that, like home because look at this, and it comes as a total shock. And the reason it comes as a total shock is that you really thought that you couldn't, you couldn't find a person who was good enough to do this. You felt like every person that you encountered in recent years was a person who wanted to just, you know, be flaky and be drama driven and, you know, they might have had drinking problems and it just indicates that you, you lost this sense of confidence that you can manifest this. The tower card says that your magician is back. You are shocked in the best of ways. I love the tower card. It can be just that sudden realization that not everybody is, is in this sort of debauchery, you know, who gives a damn about anybody, including myself, but you have this energy, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, that you, you find it, it's like winning the lottery. Surprise, you're gonna win the good guy, you, you know, or the good gal. You're gonna win that person that you really want that will give you and be in the same space as you. Nine of Swords, Yin Energy, it does say that you may be spending too much time alone and thinking. This is Gemini Energy. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, a justice card. You just want a fair and balanced situation. So does your partner. Let's look at the archangels here for you. This is incredible energy. Beautiful reading, Scorpio. Hang in there. You are, you have, you're about to arrive and get the manifestation you want. Archangel Jophical is before you judge love oh good so when you're all worried and you're all up in your head remember that before you judge you love let's see believe in your power the manifestation card believe in that power scorpio and zed kill zed kill you have the power to create your good both of you do look at that it belongs right there it's beautiful Scorpio. Have a wonderful week. I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.